So a lot of issues occur as you're working in China in terms of having a difficulty bringing your teams together, especially when you have foreign staff members and, and local team members. A good friend of mine is uh, a GM of one of the major hotels in, uh, in Shanghai. A lot of his uh, French and German staff members would be completely separate in terms of spending all of their free time, uh, their lunch times, uh, with only the other French and German staff members and they would all speak their local language. There was very little integration and it became uh, like a silo mentality. It was a lot of them and us. Whereas in, in socializing, of course, the, uh, the, the team members would separate completely. Their local Chinese team um, preferring to, to go out and have um, lunch or, or, or dinner together in a local restaurant and particularly the, the pub and bar culture in, uh, in Shanghai meant that the, the French and German team members would go straight to the, the local bar after work. And so he was really thinking what he should do to improve the situation. Now, um, this being Shanghai, um, the Chinese lessons that he was running for his team members weren't so successful. Um, unfortunately, as they learned some basic Mandarin, um, the, the local team members who much preferred to speak in, in Shanghainese um, didn't really connect so much with that. So, so that wasn't such a, a, a useful initiative and it was quite expensive for him. So what he began to do was um, run a, a couple of other initiatives. One thing was the 360 degree appraisal where he asked some very interesting questions. It was run anonymously so team members would go on the web and they would um, give feedback about one of their colleagues and a number of his French and German colleagues would get feedback such as um, on the question of how much effort is this person putting into um, building cross-cultural relationships. Some of the team members got a consistent zero as being the amount of effort they were putting in and they began to realize hang on I'm not actually uh, integrating and maybe there's something I can do about it. And what he began to do was run a series of quite meaningful and useful interactions such as um, having regular uh, games, mahjong, uh, badminton and football um, where he made sure that after those games there would be some form of, of food as well. So make, making sure that after the football game that the people wouldn't just separate, that they would go for lunch together, maybe have a chance to talk about the game, who played well. And he found that over time that was much, much more successful. So first of all, having that realization, the 360 degree feedback as to am I actually doing a good job in terms of integrating and then giving those opportunities for his team members to get together and have really uh, meaningful uh, moments and meaningful interactions. <laughs>